Today is the International Women's Day and I want to show you a photo. This is a photo from our Braveheart Trauma Center in Iraq and the girls are girls who have been captived by ISIS, tortured, raped and now they are released and they are learning how to feel safe again and how to retrieve the control over their body. The body belongs to them, to no one else. Um, and they can rest. My name is Sina Solpos, for those of you who don't know. Uh, I'm the director of uh, Refugee Alliance Ministries, here from the head office in Norway, showing the four countries where we work and our projects. Today, I just wanted to speak to you men uh, reminding you that on the first page of the Bible, God says that God created a man, um, man, human, in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, the male and the female, and said to them, be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it, rule. So, the man and the woman was together given the authority to rule and subdue the earth. I'm showing you uh, this center in Kristiansand. We have a cafe. It's not open yet because we are lacking volunteers. If you are around for uh, three hours of volunteer job at lunchtime, please come. But this is our church. And uh, every Sunday we are <coughs> eating at a long table uh, free dinner together with uh, refugees and asylum seekers and anyone who wants to come just bring a bit of food and then we'll eat together and uh, this is at the front wall I'll just show you where we operate we operate in Zambia in Uganda in Iraq and in uh, Norway at the bottom of Norway in four countries. Um, Refugee Alliance Ministries was started four and a half years ago by myself and uh, Stefan Kaumba, pastor from Congo, who lives here in Kristiansand. We started with empty hands, just believing that uh, God had called us. And today we have 44 employees in four countries. So I wanted to encourage you, women, on this world's uh, International Women's Day that if God has called you, go. If God has called you, go. Don't fear. Just trust that what God has given you is enough and that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, and that if you give him your two fishes and loaves of bread, five loaves of bread, uh, he will multiply it. Not beforehand in the storeroom, but in your hands as you are giving it away. That's what's happening to us. We started with nothing and it's growing. It's becoming a big ministry now. And uh, I want to say to you, woman, girl, sweetie, um, who might have been uh, hurt badly by someone, it is not over for you. It is not over for you. God can pick up the pieces of a life, of a heart, put it together and make it something beautiful, something that can help many. Uh, I can testify to that. So don't fear. I, on this day, I want to remind you that think of who you really are. You're not who other people say you are. They don't know anything about you. God knows. You are who God says you are, and you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And uh, our message from Refugee Alliance to refugees, but today it's to you, is that please remember who you are. You're valuable, you're precious. There is no other person like you. No one can do what you're supposed to do. No one can take your place. And no inhuman treatment that you may have experienced can ever take away your value, can never scratch onto your dignity and cannot steal away from you the special potential that you carry on your inside wherever you go. You got this from God. 
you're carrying his image you're created in god's image and you're very precious you're not going through this time alone you're not alone you're not forgotten not by god and not by us i hope that someone's around you to comfort you if you need and to strengthen you if not strengthen yourself in god or contact us and we will kick you out into all the world okay embrace you and kick you out <laughs> don't fear uh, just go be still and know then go and if you are around christensen sometime please come and visit you're most welcome happy women's day